Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got benchmarks for the Radeon 7 and... <laughs> but first, if you love gaming and hardware, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all the best gaming and hardware news and reviews. AMD's newly announced Radeon 7 GPU is set to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with NVIDIA's newest RTX 2080, but at a similar price, the Radeon 7 needs to bring something to compete with the added features of the 2080. Sure, plenty of games don't support ray tracing, but at the same price, there's just no reason to purchase the Radeon 7 over it without either an exclusive feature or higher performance. In comes today's first story. We have some early leaked benchmarks for AMD's Radeon 7. The first few were found by Tom Apisak and shared on his Twitter. They're all 3D Marks Firestrike and each one shows a generic VGA device by AMD. Fortunately, these scores are way too high to be anything but the new Radeon 7, though as always a hint of skepticism is needed. When it comes to the scores themselves, it actually beats NVIDIA's 2080 by 3 to 4 percent. And while it's not a huge number, it could be enough for those completely uninterested in ray tracing or the AI based features of NVIDIA's cards. Next, we have a series of benchmarks from Final Fantasy XV's proprietary benchmark. It was found and shared by Komachi, and in them, the Radeon 7 doesn't fare so well against the 2080, which actually gets a size of 50 percent performance increase over the Radeon 7. With that said, let's not forget that these are likely early drivers coupled with the fact that Final Fantasy XV is more of an NVIDIA title that definitely favors their cards. Really, it seems the Radeon 7 could trade blows with the 2080, potentially making the choice for cards based on the specific games you play and plan to play moving forward. It's obviously too soon to say for sure, but most of the preliminary benchmarks suggest as much. Lastly for today, GPU prices could be going up again. As if Intel's burst of crazy prices wasn't enough. This time, reported by Tom's Hardware, it seems TSMC, the chip maker for much of NVIDIA's GPUs as well as a ton of other silicon and major devices, had a chemical contamination that's caused them to halt production of their Fab 14B. Apparently this affects their 12 and 16 nanometer wafers. So far there's been 10,000 wafers known to be affected, but TSMC's Fab 14 is reportedly said to make 100,000 wafers per month. Believe it or not, this could be a huge deal for the industry. It's not just a couple products here. We're talking parts for the PS4, Xbox One X, AMD's upcoming Radeon 7, and Nvidia's Turing and Pascal cards all use these wafers. Whether Fab 14B creates all of TSMC's 12 and 16 nanometer wafers is tough to say, but ET Today, the original Taiwanese outlet that reported on it, do seem to have confirmation on its validity from TSMC. Now, depending on how quickly this can be resolved, we very well could start seeing prices rise as current stocks sell out and the sales pipe is more constrained. Obviously, this is more of a possibility, but we've seen this event take place more recently with Intel supply issues leading to some seriously high prices of their more recent 14 nanometer chips. Of course, while Intel somewhat denied these claims, the price hikes seem to make it pretty obvious. Let's just hope the issue can be fixed quickly, or we could have our next price increase, further making it harder and harder to build a PC. Fingers crossed. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Are you excited for AMD's upcoming Radeon 7, or are you more worried about prices? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.